Good, Good evening once again. I'm Jeff Russo in for Keith Radford tonight. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown laying out his post pandemic vision for the Queen City today in his state of the city address. The mayor made a point of highlighting new ways he believes he can help the city grow fiscally, dig deeper into police reform and work to advance racial equity. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller tells us more. Not one city employee was laid off as a result of the pandemic. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, who is running for a fifth term this year, says there's a lot to be proud of in the last 12 months in the city of Buffalo. We have achieved one of the best fiscal positions in the history of our city, Buffalo. During his 15th State of the City address as mayor, Brown touted what he called the city's ability to work through the pandemic, create infrastructure changes, including bringing new business to downtown and the east side, and the city's police reform agenda. We suspended late fees for water and sewer bills, restored service to households who had their water turned off. Our current mayor claims credit for restoring water services to people in need. That only happened after we the people demanded it when we found out people were getting shut off due to past due bills. India Walton is running against Mayor Brown on the Working Families Party line. She says after 16 years under the same administration, there needs to be a change in leadership. Our current mayor claimed credit for infrastructure improvements that residents are calling a mess, like Allen Street. We're not even filling potholes on the east side. Mayor Brown's office calls those accusations about potholes on the east side absolutely false. During his 30 minute pre taped address, Brown talked about the city's police reforms that were implemented over the summer following protests over the death of George Floyd, including banning chokeholds and issuing appearance tickets instead of arrests for all but the most dangerous offenses. We've invested in non lethal options for police officers to utilize to keep everyone safe in police interactions. We've created and deployed a specially trained behavioral health team to respond to mental health calls. But Walton says these reforms don't go far enough. The police advisory board asks for police to be removed from most mental health calls, yet instead police received more weapons and bowler wraps. The Buffalo mayoral election is on November 2nd. Brown did announce that Paramount Pictures is coming back to Buffalo this month to shoot scenes for an upcoming movie. It is unclear at this point what that movie is. Reporting in Buffalo, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.